Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the shared parameters. What is actually the uh, shared parameters? Shared parameters uh, will help you, for example, achieve the one of the nice results, which is I want to show you today. You can transfer one parameter your parameter from the one file to the another file without any problem. The few years ago I already talked about that, but uh, I think already most of the you already forgot about that. And I should say about it one more time, because this is really main topic, especially when you're working in the large company, because you have the, a lot of the par parameters, a lot of the files, and you want to combine it in one file, coordination file, let's say. So. Let's uh, create the some parameter first, and after that, let's try to transfer it inside to the our coordination file. <laughs> first of all, of course, we should open our file. By the way, I will leave the link uh, where you can download this project. Mm, it's I did it like two years ago. Maybe you need it. Just maybe you can play around with this project. First of all, I will uh, close the my uh, this empty project. I not no wanna save it because there nothing, and I wanna open the my previous project. So this one. Let me I will open up. We will create right now the, some parameter. We we will create two different parameters. This is really important. Uh, let me go to the uh, 3D. Mm, here is, you can leave it. You can uh, be an, on the any view as you want. And let's say we want to create some parameters for this panel. Uh, as you can see here, is the, we have the some uh, panel, and we have the parameters of these panels. Uh, let me will place here because I don't like when it's when it's on the left side. Okay, so here we have the some parameters of this panel, and as you can see, here is some IFC types. This is new feature of the uh, 2023 uh, Revit. So in 2000, uh, less than 2023, you don't will have this IFC parameters here. So and let's uh, go to, for example, uh, to the familiar edit type, or we can do another thing. This is curtain panel. We can straight away go to the manage and we will find here the project parameters. So let's go to the project parameters and let's create the new one. And let's uh, let's say this is, will be project parameter, as I said. Uh, and we will say this is, will be a parameter like, mm, I don't know, type panel. Why not? This is will be instance, doesn't matter actually, it will be instance on our type, let's leave it instance. And uh, let's go here and find the uh, curtain panels. Curtain panels, okay. Now we have this parameter on, for the curtain panels. If I will select this panel, you will find this parameter uh, type panel here. And let's say the type, type one low, just few words. So. Why is that? <laughs> Give me a second. Oh, here and here the it's not, actually this is not the text. Here is the number. Let's say it will be thousand. Why not? Okay. So now this para this uh, panel have the uh, parameter. It's the thousand. Nice. Now we can create, for example, this shadow. Let me I will create this shadow. We need to create the curtain panel shadow. Uh, let's do that, and we will get few, for example, we will get the type and we will get our new uh, parameter name. Uh, type, 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 type panel is here. Let's say OK. And what we will get right now, as you can see, uh, one of the curtain panel now have the parameter. And actually all the curtain panels have this parameter, but uh, empty inside. So it's working. Now in project we have this parameter. Nice. So let me I will save it first. I will close everything. I mean, I will close this project and I will create the new one. Uh, let's say this is, will be coordination file or, or you can you open your own one, doesn't matter. I will create the new one and I will insert, uh, where is the insert? Uh, the Revit link here. Where is the, my project? It's 23. Oh, my mistake, it's 23, it's 32, it doesn't matter. Okay, let me I will open up it. Uh, we're here. And let's, I will click on this window, uh, I mean the panel. If you will select this panel, you can see type panel and we have this panel, we have the parameter, but we want to create the shadow here in this coordination file. 
I not will say why it's the reason, uh, for example, create the sometimes schedules here, but uh, for sure you sometimes will be use this method uh, to, mm, for example, even the filter. So let me will create the new schedule, uh, curtain panel. And let's try to find this type of the parameter. And as you can see, it's not here. You uh, impossible to use this parameter right now. Even if you will go to the filter, you not will find anything. So what you can do? We need to use the shared parameters, actually. Uh, I will close everything again. This is really matter for now. I not will save anything again. I want to show you this is I'm doing really, really clear and you will uh, see this problem everywhere. And we will change the type of the parameter because right now this is parameter uh, actually um, project parameter. Let me go here. Actually here, it's not this one. This is cloud parameters. Actually this is new nice services but we will talk a bit about the about it a bit later. Here's our type panel. Uh, let me go to the edit parameter and here as you can see it's already project parameter. So uh, actually this is a bit terrible but we should delete it and create a new one. But we not will delete it, we will create a new one. Uh, why? Because I want to show you the difference. Let me create a new one and I will create this shared parameter. I will select the file. I don't have any select the file and I will create the new one. And let me, I will call it like a sh shared parameter. Why not? Uh, okay, so we don't have here then any parameters. We will create a new group first. It will be arch uh, facade. It will be facade. And we will create a new parameter, which is I already said. This is, will be type panel. Uh, and here is the type parameter. So I will change it to the text because as you remember, we shouldn't uh, write any text uh, uh, in that type of the parameter, which is we already have done. Let's say, okay, let's say, okay. And let's say, okay, again. And as you can see, it's automatically now uh, filled everything here in instead of that. So we will leave again instance and we will leave uh, align to the group type. And uh, now we should choose our curtain panel. Here's the curtain panel. Let's say okay. Let's say okay. And what we're gonna, what we have right now? Let's I will select this panel again. And as you can see, uh, here is our uh, type panel. And new one type panel. It's here. It's under the text, but it doesn't matter. But now we are here. Uh, we can write here the any text. For example, nice panel. Why not? Enter, and as you can see, this is a nice panel. I'm for sure. Let me, uh, I will save this project again. Uh, yes, so you can create here this shadow, of course, without any problem. Uh, even you can use the previous one. Here is the my schedule. Here is the my schedule. And now we can, for example, uh, edit this schedule. Oh, not edit, edit here. And add one more parameter. Where is the my type panel? This is terrible when you have the same names. Try to you, uh, standardize, uh, use the, some standards for your names of the, your parameters, even your parameters, because you will get some terrible things right now. Of course, in uh, Revit 2023, you have the, some filter, but in previous version, you don't. So it's really hard to understand which is parameter is uh, shared, which parameter is local. Uh, so let's say OK. And as you can see, one uh, more, now we get row, and here is the next panel. Yeah, we think it's a really nice panel. Let me, I will save all, all these things. I will close again this project. And now I will, uh, not, I will create the new project, as I said, architecture template, doesn't matter which is a template you are using for. This is again, a uh, really important thing. Let me, I will go to the insert. Again, I will insert the Revit file, and here is the Revit 2023. Let me will load it inside. First, I will go to the 2D. Here is our panel. Let me will select this panel by top key. And what we have? The type panel, nice panel, really nice. Now we will create the uh, shadow. Here is our schedule. And here is the, our uh, curtain panel. Let me say I want to create it. And uh, as you can see, type, it's not here. Same same problem, right? 
but now we can fix it and really fast. Let's go to the manage and here we should load our, um, our shared parameters. Let's go to the shared parameters, it's here as you can see. And let's load this parameter inside. So project parameter, let's, uh, uh, let's add the new parameter, shared parameter, select, we don't need create right now. And we should choose uh, our curtain panel. Wait, so curtain panel, done. Let's say, okay. okay, would you like the elements, blah, blah, blah. Let's say, okay, not will say anything. Uh, now we're gonna create again the our schedule. Why is our curtain panel? Let's create it. And now if you go down, we will see the type parameter. You will say, we created right now a new parameter. Actually, yes, but uh, the same parameter we have the in main file where is our building. So if we have the same parameter in the main file, let me use the type, it will be under everything and I will say, okay. It will be automatically transferred here. You cannot so now see anything because actually we should go to the filter, uh, not filter, to the sorting, uh, itemize every unit, uh-huh. And one thing, include elements in link. Always I forgot this thing actually. Let's include it, let's say okay. And here's our parameter from the main file. So by this way, you can transfer any parameters from the any files if you have the same standard. So if, for example, if you are using the, some special mark in one file, the name of the special mark should be the same in each files if you wanna, for example, filter it. A shared parameters file, creating one for the one project. So by this way, you can create your own parameter. You can even the filter. And the one tricky thing, for example, you not possible to filter by level. Let me, I'll show you. If you have here the, where is the level? Level, it's not here, as you can see. You are impossible to filter by level. So how you can do that? You can create the shared parameters again. You can transfer all the levels parameter inside to the, your uh, special level parameter, I mean the shared parameter. And uh, by this shared parameter, you will be able to filter because you want, for example, get only the uh, panels from the first level or only the panels from the second level. So you should create a new shared parameter, which is will be called like uh, shared level parameter, let's say. Write the, the level, you can use the Dynamo, for example, one click and it will be automatically writing inside to this parameter and then you can use it. So this is was simple tutorial, uh, but useful tutorial, I hope so. Uh, in the next tutorial, we're gonna talk about, you already see about the parameter services, but for these parameter services, you should have the uh, construction cloud, uh, bin construction cloud, yeah. This is actually payable service from the Autodesk. So if you like this tutorial, don't forget to like, uh, share and comment and see you next time.